Well, oh, I'm gonna adjust this real quick. Since you liked part two and part one so much, I will give you part three before tomorrow. So here's part three of eight of Dave Chappelle's funniest jokes. Make sure you hit that sub button, roll to 10K, watch all the ads. Welcome to the tribe, my friend. No! 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 I had to turn the channel real quick. I turned on Sesame Street. I said, oh, whew, Sesame Street this is much better because now he'll learn how to count and spell. But now I'm watching it as an adult and I realize Sesame Street teaches kids other things. It teaches kids how to judge people and label people. That's right. They got a character on there named Oscar. They treat this guy like shit the entire show. They judge him right in his face. Oscar, you are so mean. Isn't he, kids? Yeah, Oscar. You're a grouch. It's like, bitch, I live in a fucking trash can. <laughs> I'm the poorest motherfucker on Sesame Street. Facts. Facts. Like, they really have to do it in the trash can. Like, in the trash can. But expect for him not to be upset. How can you be happy? Come on now, preach to Nobody's him. helping me. Then you wonder why your kids grow up and step over homeless people. Get it together, Grouch. Get a job, Grouch. So don't even tell me how to get to Sesame Street. That is a terrible place. I wouldn't go there if I knew the way. Who would want to live in a neighborhood like that? Fucking six-foot pigeons walking around. <laughs> An elephant that's a junkie. Hyper. Yeah, that's right, Snuffy. Hi, bird, I'm sick. I need some smack bird. Then Cookie Monster with his eyes popping out his head. Screaming, cookie, cookie, cookie. Like, ugh. What kind of cookies are you talking about? It's bad. Chocolate chips don't do that to people. And then had the nerve to put a pimp on them. They didn't come out and say he's a pimp, but I know a pimp when I see one. They called him the count. Had a cape and everything. You could have seen him pimping. Bitch, where does my money? You've been late four times. I've been counting. How many times must I smack you before you act right? One, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for Because the timing of this Michael Jackson shit Is what makes me doubt it Every time this war is going out of control Or the economy gets bad Or something is wrong with the world at large It's always these moments in history That Michael Jackson will coincidentally Jerk off a kid This is getting a little ridiculous like, Are you planning this shit? Do you have meetings? Michael, thank you for coming as you know, Michael, the war has not been going as well as we expected. There's been a lot of hiccups, and the public is asking us a lot of questions, of course. And, well, Michael, there's no nice way to say this, and all I know how to do is be direct, so let me just be direct. We're going to need you to jerk off another child, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. But it would really help out. Like I said, man, shots out to you for being here. Make sure you hit that sub button. Welcome to the tribe, of course. Like I said, eight of Dave Chappelle's funniest jokes. More reactions coming. More videos coming. Like I said, because you like part two and part one, I'm going to give you part three. So the more you keep running videos up, the more I keep cranking them out. Or maybe he did it. Who knows? Who knows? That's the thing. That's what I wanted to say. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Mike... God and this little boy know. That's that's about it. That's about it. The only reason that I can even talk about this shit is because everybody is speculating. They all think he did it. And I don't think he did it. I'm alone in this. I don't think he did it. I'm not going to say I don't think he did it. That's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
me just say I am reserving judgment until all the facts come out. But so far from what I heard, I mean, the kid said he was dying of cancer. He was in Make-A-Wish Foundation. He claims he had two weeks to live, and it was his dying wish to meet Michael Jackson. Come on, man, give me a fucking break. This kid is 10 years old. He don't remember Thriller. The fuck you want to meet Michael Jackson for, honestly? <laughs> I remember Thriller, and I just, like, kind of want to meet this nigga. Like, I wouldn't break an appointment to meet him. I'll put it that way. I'd have to already be free. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's like if I'm dying in two weeks and go, oh, mama, oh, get me in a room with Chubby Chuckle. I wouldn't want to meet that motherfucker. Not my last two weeks. Why not usher or somebody like this? So then the kid claims he goes to Michael's house. This is where it all gets crazy. I don't, like, you know, he does everything you'd expect at Michael's house. They uh, climb trees and rode roller coasters and Ferris wheels. The chef made cookies, pies, and cakes. They was petting the monkey and the giraffe, sang songs, kid shit. And in the middle of all this childlike activity, for some reason, Mike pulled out some wine and some pills and suck this kid's dick. <laughs> Folks, it hurts me to say it. And the kid had the nerve to call that abuse. Motherfucker, that is a good host. God damn, what else do you want? What else do you want? I'm lucky to get a glass of a, a great drink at my friend's house. I don't know the roller coaster ride my dick sucked. <laughs> Mike must be confused like I brought you in my house, I fed you. I suck your dick and this is how you repay me, motherfucker. This was your wish, not mine. Thought you were dying in two weeks. What happened to that motherfucker? Was, I've been in court for a year and a half. You get stronger every time I see you. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that... <laughs> this is fucked up. I shouldn't even say this fuck. Wouldn't it be some ironic shit if they found out through this case that the cure for cancer... Was Michael Jackson sucking your dick somehow? <laughs> like if Mike had powers like Green Mile and all the kids like, please, Mike, suck our dicks. Mm, never again. Mm, he didn't appreciate it. Can we? <laughs> we at least study your saliva? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. But there's a more important reason that I would stop doing comedy right now. And this reason is the real reason that's been percolating. And, and it really is the crowd, not you. I'm talking about the crowd on the big stage. It's too hard to entertain a country whose ears are so brittle. Motherfuckers are so sensitive. The whole country has turned into bitch-ass niggas. And let me say, he is not lying. Real, authentic raw and uncut stuff can't even be said, can't even put, put out there without somebody spewing off or opinion or feeling like it, there's targeted at them or it being hate speech when it's just them expressing an opinion about a topic that anybody can talk about. But you want to shun them for being raw and uncut or making a joke or, you know what I mean? Let people be them. It's, it's called the First Amendment for a reason. Everything you say upsets somebody. But motherfuckers are just taking it too far. I don't know why or how everybody got this goddamn sensitive. You know who hates me the most? The transgender community. Yo, yeah, these motherfuckers. I mean, I didn't realize how bad it was. These motherfuckers. I was really mad about that last Netflix special. tough man i don't know what to do about it because because i like them i always have never had a problem with them you know just fucking around as a matter of fact i think i make fun of everybody and i mean as a group of people they have to admit it's kind of fucking hilarious man i'm sorry bro but i've never seen somebody in such a hilarious predicament not have a sense of humor about it. They're born feeling like there's something other than they're born as, and that's... <laughs> the 
that's kind of funny, you know. I, I mean, it's funny if it's not happening to you. I believe transgenders. I don't understand them either, but I know they mean what they say. Them niggas cut their dicks off. That's all the proof I need. I've never seen somebody just throw their dick away. Don't need it. I don't understand, but I believe you and I support your decision, motherfucker. I was doing a show. I was in Portland, Oregon. And I was checked in a, a hotel under the name Charles Edward Cheese. I came back to my room late at night and there was a, a, a note, it was like a letter on my desk, it was addressed to Mr. Cheese so obviously I'm going to assume that whoever wrote this letter must be an intimate friend of mine, this is not some kind of name that a person would just guess, but then I opened the letter and it turns out I don't know this person at all it's a fan letter you know I'm not even used to the idea that I have fans but I'm grateful for it and uh I don't read those letters. <laughs> Be nice if I did, but realistically, it's like, what am I, Santa Claus, nigga? I don't have time for this. Like, <laughs> got shit I want to do. I'm trying to chill. <laughs> read all these dreams and wishes from strangers. But, then I, but I read it. I'd already opened it. So I just read the whole letter. And you know what, man? Whoever wrote this letter truly loves me. I mean, they were really fucking nice in the letter. And then they described to me what it was like to come to the show, how excited they were, how much fun they were having. And then they said that when I got to my jokes about transgenders, that they were, quote, devastated. Because <laughs> it turns out that whoever wrote the letter was transgender. Now, I'm going to be real for a second. As a policy, you got to understand I never feel bad about anything I say up here. <laughs> and, I, I and you have to be, because at the end of the day, it's a joke, whether it, it, how raw and uncut, whether it is humane, whether it makes, you know what I mean, logical sense, it is just a joke at the end of the day. We got to stop being so sensitive, people. Make sure you hit that sub button. Welcome to the tribe, my friend. Roll to 10,000 subs. Help me get there. And like I said, I'm going to give you part two. Okay. I would never admit this to you if I hadn't locked your phones up. <laughs> but it was the weirdest thing. Like when I read this letter... I, the shit made me feel bad. I didn't feel bad about what I said. You understand? I felt bad that I made somebody else feel bad. To be honest, I don't even know what I said that upset that person. I have so many transgender jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like it was probably this joke I'm about to tell you right now. And it's not even that bad of a joke. It's a true joke. I mean, it's not true, but I, I, I had read in the paper that Caitlyn Jenner was contemplating posing nude in an upcoming issue of Sports Illustrated. And I know it's not politically correct to say these things, so I just figured, fuck it, I'll say it for everybody else. Yuck. <laughs> you know, sometimes... I just want to read some stats. <laughs> I don't know why you're going to cram some man pussy in the middle of the sports page like this. I just didn't think that was the place for it. But I wasn't saying anything like Caitlyn Jenner's a bad person. I'm not mad at her for doing it. I'm not even mad at Sports Illustrated. If I'm mad at somebody, I'm probably just mad at myself. You understand? Because deep down, I know that I am not strong enough to not look at those pictures. <laughs> and I don't think I'm ready to see what she's trying to show me. Oh, so, Caitlin, God damn it, if you go through with this thing, <laughs> bitch, you better go hard or go home. 
I want you to go all the way. Hustler style. Do you know what hustler style means, miss? That means spread the lips. <laughs> I hope she spreads her lips and there's an itty bitty dick inside. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna stop it here. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish the rest of this on Monday, even though we got like not too much more, but still, we're gonna finish the rest. Cause I still gotta get some, still gotta do some other things, you know, get ready for work tomorrow. But like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Hit that sub button. And until the next reaction, part four tomorrow, I'm out.